the audience you want to present it to and the business that you want to create credibility for in the process. Yeah. And that's really easy. That's three clients at say $350 a month and you're making over a grand a month. Yeah. And that's not hard to do. I mean, most people don't think they're creative enough. You don't have to be. ChatGPT, yeah. Claude, Gemini, they'll all do this for you yeah. all day long. All right, ladies and gents, I brought on the man himself, Jonathan <laughs> Mast, White Beard Strategies, the bearded wizard himself, Mr. AI. And we're going to be talking about something today that I think you guys are going to be super interested because this is the question you get asked more than anything uh, else. All the time. How do I use this old AI thing to make some of the monies? And so uh, we feel like there's some real opportunities here. And anyways, first of all, thanks for coming on and well, geez, it, you know, it with me. Come, come to Mexico, <laughs> hang out with Frankie. Why wouldn't I want to do this? This is gorgeous. Yeah. So well, he didn't come out to hang out with me. Either, by the way, <laughs> he's speaking and just I'm a I'm, I'm a C plus kind of agenda thing on it and on his and on his item list. Anyway, okay, well, it was a bonus. How's that? Yeah. Icing on top of the cupcake. Yeah. So a lot of you guys have been asking us the same question. You want to take AI? You see the power of it. You see the tool. But at the end of the day, like connecting the dots of like, how do you go out in the world, actually turn that into cash, and. I think we should, we, we should probably tell people it's not a magic silver bullet where you can just push a button and no. it puts cash. No. But there are some opportunities to use it. And you mentioned, like, when we were kind of talking off air, that you feel like social media posts are one of those things. And let, let, let's start with the why. Like, the, tell folks why that. Yeah, I think, you know, the, the question really begins is do you have, do you already have an audience you can sell to or not? Yeah. That makes a big difference. But a lot of the questions come from people that they don't know a lot about AI and they don't know a lot about where to go and they're looking for, you know, I need, I need a gig. What can I do? What, you know, I'm looking for gig work, basically. Yeah. And I think, think I just have for most people, usually like a thousand bucks a month would be like life changing. And it's, yeah. it's very doable with what you're describing with one person. Well, that, that's again what I'm thinking. You know, if we're looking for that gig work, a couple thousand dollars a month may be coming in. Yeah, like you said, ask yourself, what would that mean if you added a thousand or two thousand dollars a month? You know, what would that mean to your life? Yeah. Probably that'd be pretty cool. I know. I mean, heck, I'd take it. Yeah. Um, so I really think in that realm, I think the low-hanging fruit there is social media. Yeah. Every business I know knows they need to be doing more on social media than they are. The problem is they don't have time. The, the business owners, you know, they're too busy working yeah. in the business. Yeah. They got too many other things they're doing. Or maybe they're just fortunate and they're hanging out at a conference yeah. like we are, <laughs> and they don't want to mess with social media. Yeah. And even, by the way, the ones who um, know how to do it hate doing it. So it's like, yeah. you know, you know the, the guy who runs a bakery knows he needs to post on social media, but he just wants to make pastries. The plumber just wants to clean shitty toilets, you know? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah so I think, you know, the low-hanging fruit hey, is... Can you guys photobomb leverage... our video? Can we make it? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, photobomb. Come on, come on. Come on. This is why we're at the conference, guys, so live video. <laughs> What's uh, it up? It's JC and Karen Heights, Kagan. They were already left. They don't want to photobomb that yeah. long. You know, but, yeah, I think that's the low-hanging fruit. It's... You know, you, you can use AI. You don't have to be brilliant as far as you don't have to have a ton of social media experience. All you really need to do is go in and learn how to prompt AI effectively so that it understands the social media topic you want to talk about, the audience you want to present it to, and the business that you want to create credibility for in the process. Yeah. And that's really easy. Yeah. That's super. And, and I mean, you, you, don't, you don't even need a customer to go in and use ChatGPT or Claude or whatever you want to go in and create 30 days of social media posts. Yeah. And, you know, let's say I want to go after small businesses in my local area. Uh, so maybe I'll grab and say, all right, I'm a local dentist. And instead of picking a dentist, I'll just say it's for, you know, ABC dentists. Yeah. And I'll say it's in ABC city. But then you can show that to anybody and go, here's an example yes. of the type of content that I'm going to create. And then you can wow the heck out of them because you can also create images that go along with every one of those. And when you walk into a business and say, look, here's the solution to your problem. I've got it right here. And then you just have to ask yourself that process, finding out, talking to the client, doing that every month. We're not talking necessarily even posting it, but just creating that content. 30 days worth of content is probably going to take you an hour to two hours a month to do. Yeah. And is it an easy thousand bucks too? And as you mentioned, like the selling it and presenting it is super easy because it's just let me show you some examples of what I built. The other thing you said that I thought was particularly brilliant, it's like there's a lot of us who are, you know, here we're at a digital marketing conference, a lot of people building as, uh, websites, 
helping people rank in Google, running paid advertisements. A lot of times when you're like building a client's website, for example, like you have to know how to make a website and they're very particular about how they want it. Oh, yeah. But you mentioned like Facebook posts, anything they do with social is often seen as a bonus. They're not, they don't have that same like, um, you know, kind of uptight. I would say you don't get the anal retentive. Oh my gosh, this word is wrong with social media posts. They generally don't care as long as it's decent. And if you, again, if you tell the AI who the client is, you tell them who the audience is and what the topic is they're writing about, like, you know, uh, I want to help my client be seen as the best dentist in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. And his name is Jacksonville Dental, and he reach, he wants to reach out to, uh, you know, individuals between 25 and 55 that are looking for dental care. Yeah. I need to come up with 30 social media posts, one a day, for this dentist that will help build their credibility. Voom, chat GPT, yeah. Claude, they're going to give you that. And then just one at a time, don't write all 30 because it's going to suck if you do that. One at a time, yeah. those 30 prompts. Right day one, right day two, right day three, right day four. And again, an hour to two hours max each month, you're going to have that done. So let's just say you could sell that. And I think you could easily sell that 30 days of content, 30 posts. You could, I think you could easily get three to $500 for that. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, without even breaking a sweat. So if you're brand new at this, that's three clients that say $350 a month and you're making over a grand a month. Yeah. And that's not hard to do. I mean, literally, that would be a matter of showing yeah. a couple local businesses and going, hey, do you, if I could help you with social media, would it be worth it? Yeah. And the cool thing, too, about, like, AI, I actually think it's it's better than most. Like, I, I remember back in the day, we used to have, like, you know, a full-time Facebook post. Oh, yeah. person. I think it's it's better than that anyway because it comes up with, hey, you should share a client ca- case study. You should answer this question. You should highlight this employee. Like, it, it comes up with, like, a an actual comprehensive plan yeah. and then therefore like what you're actually doing for the the business ultimately makes them money over time because you know they actually like you know get attention for what they're doing and they share stuff and as a result it's easy to justify a salary you know as you mentioned you know yeah. 500 bucks a month or whatever when that dentist is getting five patients a month from what you're doing and they're making you know 10 20 grand like to them it makes sense to just keep paying you that money forever and that's the other thing is like um, it has a longevity built into it so that when you sign somebody once, like you have the ability to keep them paying you that $1,000 a month for years and years and years and years on well, end. Well, and that's that beauty of that recurring revenue because you don't have to go find three new clients every month. Yep. If you found two clients a month in six months, you've got 12 clients. Again, even say we go cheap at 350 bucks, yep. that means you're making $4,000 a month every month. Yeah. And that's after six months. Yeah. And you made you made almost a grand a month each month along the way. Um, again, it, it becomes a really simple process. And I, again, I think that's the low hanging fruit right now. Yeah. And I agree. You know, and, and I think it for most people, as we mentioned, it's such a good starting place because, as you mentioned, the things that uh, businesses are the most anal about uh, are not social media. Right. So it's, right. it's one of those things like it gives you some leeway to try things to be wrong. They're not watching every Facebook post you make. Like anything you do is seen as a bonus. I have a concept I call like the add-on versus replacement. Replacement is like when they're doing something and they have to fire somebody and bring you in. So like a lot of times people, when they try and sell a website and say, I can make a better website. Well, they got to fire their existing provider before they can hire you. Yeah. But usually with social media, there's there's often no one doing it. Nobody wants to do it. Uh, even the digital marketing agencies that we're talking to here, like for the most part, they don't want to touch social either. No. And so it's just, it's really this wide open thing that everybody need, knows they need to be doing. Everybody knows they need to be on the Instagram and they need to have a Facebook page and update it. And you just having a little bit of know-how and being able to use ChatGPT, close that gap. And you make them look good in the process. So like it just, it makes a lot of sense. So I'm glad you kind of brought this whole thing up. Yeah. Again, I just, I think like you said, it was, we were talking at lunch. It's the most common question I get asked. What's an easy way to do it without breaking the bank, without trying to have to get a ton of special training? That's it in my mind, and it's it's simple. Yeah. You know what we need to do, though? We need a $47 course yeah. that we can sell to everybody <laughs> that teaches them how to do this. Yeah. That's what we, we didn't talk about that yeah, at lunch. Yeah. yeah. Send $47 if you guys got this. Yeah, if you want us to do that, seriously, <laughs> let us know. We'll, we'll do the course. We'll give it to you, 47 bucks. Yeah. yeah. We, we'll make, we haven't planned it yet, but yeah. we can do that. And we'll put this into 12 modules so it feels like you're getting value. <laughs> uh, the one thing I'd like to talk about is, like, um, for a lot of people that may be like intimidating, like how would I present this to a business and mm-hmm. ask for money? I think is actually super easy because you don't have to sell it. 
You don't even have to like try and sign somebody up. You literally just go to whatever your local like BNI or where the business oh, owners yeah? have the meetups or whatever. And you literally just show them, like pull up their website on your phone and say, hey, let me generate some social media posts. And you give them like, you know, like when I, I think of like how Costco, when they want you to buy pizza. Yeah. They don't like nobody beats you over the head and says buy pizza. They just, hey, would you like a free sample? And then you go, that's pretty good. Like, yeah, so absolutely. Out, of, out of curiosity, what would it cost me to get seven boxes? Yeah. And then if you like it, you get seven boxes. Or if you're like, you know, like uh, my wife you feel guilty for eating a free sample, you take the seven boxes, go around the corner and then put it back when nobody's looking. Um, but it, that's, to me, like all we're really doing is you just show to business owners, hey, let me just run a demonstration and give you a free sample of it. And it's like... Well, and that's a great point. I mean, you could literally reach out. You don't even have to stick in your locale. You could just reach out to anybody anywhere in the world, find that business, you go to their business page and you go, wow, they posted three times in the last month, which is probably more than most do. And just reach out to the page and say, hey, it, it, I'd be happy to give you a free social media post. Would, could I send you one? Yeah. You don't even have to tell them you're selling even, anything. I, with how easy ChatGPT makes it, I wouldn't even ask their permission. Probably I would just send it to them. I would just send it to them. That's a better say, idea. And gave them you a free sample, right? Yeah. Like, it's like, it's not really a lot of work off your back. And you could even use something like MidJourney and create the image for it as well if you wanted to. Yeah, and I mean, absolutely. I mean, one prompt in ChatGPT, you could, you could have essentially the image and the post done. Yeah. And as long as you explain the the industry that they're in, that it'll get close enough that they can that owner can look at that and go, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. And then the ones that respond back, you can say, how would you like me to do that for you? Thirty days a month. Yeah. You know, and again, outshine your competition because no, no your competition's not doing it either. Yeah. Again, this is an absolute pain yeah. point that yeah. business owners are running yeah. into. And especially too, because like you know, we're both business owners, and we can tell you the amount of shit you have to stay on top of. Like there's. Taxes and legal yeah. and accounting, that's a whole thing. And then there's hiring people and then there's fulfilling on your thing. And then you got to be on 27 different social media platforms yes. and you're supposed to be making videos and texts and you got to follow up with your customers and you got to ask for reviews. And Joey called in sick today. How are we getting him covered? Like in the middle of that, they're not on top of the, the social media and the things they're supposed to. And they're happy to have somebody good who can step in and just consistent. And as Jonathan said, it's literally feed it a prompt, Wait 10 seconds, copy, paste, and you can even schedule them in advance on a lot of the, you know, like Facebook yeah. pages. So you can like copy and paste all your Facebook posts like into the calendar a month in advance and they see continuous progress on that. So I think it's particularly brilliant. Yeah, there's even some AI tools out there. I'll share one of them. I have no affiliate link or anything like that, but there's a tool out there. I think you and I were talking about, it might've been Ben who was sitting at our table, but it's called Marky. And you can literally go into Marky and you can feed it the business information, you can feed it to the audience and everything else. You can connect it to the social media and you literally just go in and say generate. It generates like eight at a time. Yeah. You then pick the ones you like and you say schedule and you literally could connect each of your clients through that. You could have a social media agency up and running in no time. Yeah. Yeah. Literally in less than 10 minutes, you can start talking to people. That doesn't mean they'll immediately buy it five seconds after. But I promise if you give away... A couple of free samples. Somebody's going to say, "How much are the seven pizzas?" If I want that, well, because yeah, the Costco example is great. Not yeah. everybody that gets free pizza buys them, but enough of them do that they keep doing it. Yeah, exactly. And and that's the key. So if you want to be successful, create, say you're going to create five posts a day for businesses, or you're going to reach out to five businesses every day. That takes what? If you if you drag your feet, that takes twenty minutes. Yeah. And out of those five, if you did that five days a week, four weeks a month. That's a hundred, if my math is right, that's a hundred contacts. If you don't get at least 10 of them to come back and go, well, tell me more about this yeah. and close three or four, then something's off. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing too, is if you, if you think efficiently, like you, if you niche down to say like, Hey, I'm going to do this for plumbers, then you can actually send the same post to like 20 plumbers in a row and just, you know, change a detail or two. Like, well, especially if you're not going to be in the same city, yeah. because what's the plumber going to know if you have this post available or, you know, they don't know if it's the same when you set somebody in Chicago yeah. and somebody in Dallas and they're exactly. never going to know. Exactly. Yeah. Well, cool, guys. So that, that's all I think we got in this one. But we want to share with you guys what we feel is like, you know, because it's the question we get asked the most. Where, Absolutely. How, how do I make money? And, you know, the truth be told, there's a lot of ways that AI can assist. I don't think it can take you the ball all the way up the field yeah. by itself. But this one is, is almost such a cheat code because, as you mentioned, every business owner knows they need it. They don't want to do it. They don't have time for it. And yet... 
they don't really have an abundance of good help to do it, and nobody really wants to do it because it's just too much freaking work. It's too much work to do manually. You yeah. got it's too much hard to think, and uh, most people don't think they're creative enough. You don't have to be. ChatGPT, yeah. Claude, Gemini, they'll all do this for you yeah. all day long. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, tell us you uh, you like this, and maybe we'll uh, make some more of these things because I know you guys want to turn the old AI into some cashola. Awesome. Thanks, Frankie. Guys, if you like this video, you're also going to want to grab some free bonuses, which you can get at our website, Beyond Agency Profits. To make it easy for you, I've put the links to it in the description of this video, as well as pinned in the top comment. And we've got a couple of awesome things. This is what you'll get after you sign up. You get some of our best training, how we're closing clients over Loom videos, how we sometimes sign clients. That is not a misprint for under five U.S. dollars. Uh, how to demonstrate your value in like amazing ways, trainings, how to have your clients write the best copy of your life, how we're closing without phone calls, campaigns that we've generated for clients for, that have done over $100,000, as well as scripts you can use to get conversations going with clients in under 10 minutes. All you got to simply do is go there, enter your name and email address, and then this is what you'll see on the other side. So if that's interesting to you, make sure to click the links below, and I will see you on the other side.